today we're going to determine how we can shift our parent graph y equals x squared vertically along the y-axis. And I'm going to now try and shift my entire graph up one space. And I'm going to physically do it and then I'm going to compare my new coordinates and see how my x and y values are related to each other. So my original coordinates, again, were negative 4, 16 for the parent graph, negative 3, 9, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, and 4, 16. Now, if I shift the entire graph up, I know that my x values are going to stay the same. The only thing that's going to increase are my y values, because every dot I'm going to physically move up one spot. So in my table, I already know my coordinates are going to be negative 4, 17, negative 3, 10, negative 2, 5, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 10, and 4, 17. And my new equation is simply going to be x squared plus 1 because I'm taking negative 4, negative 4 squared is 16, and all I did was add on 1 to each of my y coordinates. So the original formula was x squared, so my new formula would be x squared plus 1, and you can test it out because negative 3 to the second power is 9 plus 1 is 10. And negative 2 to the second power is 4 plus 1 is 5. So that checks out. And if I wanted to test this out to see if I could shift my entire graph down, say, three spots, my hypothesis might be that all I have to do is take my parent graph formula, which is y equals x squared, and just subtract 3. All my y coordinates in the original parent graph would simply be moved down three spots. So I'll keep my x values the same. I'll go from negative 4 to 4 for my x values. And my y values, so I can use my formula. Negative 4 squared is 16 minus 3 is 13. Negative 3 squared is 9 minus 3 is 6. Negative 2 squared is 4 minus 3 is 1. Negative 1 squared is 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 0 squared is 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 1 squared is 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 2 squared is 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 squared is 9 minus 3 is 6. 4 squared minus 3 is 13. So now I'm going to graph this. Negative 4, 13. Negative 3, 6. Negative 2, 1. Negative 1, negative 2. 0, negative 3. 1, negative 2. 2, 1. 3, 6, 4, 13. And in comparison to my parent graph, the original graph it has in fact been shifted down three spots. So it looks like in order to shift the graph in the vertical direction, all I have to do for the parent graph is add on something to the x squared. If I add on 5, that shifts the graph up 5 spots, because y equals x squared plus 5. If I want to shift the graph down 5 spots, that would be x squared minus 5. And that concludes graphing the parent graph and making vertical shifts.